What's going on guys? It's your boy Helicopter. About to try to beast it up a little bit with this uh, MP7. This is definitely my favorite submachine gun so far in Modern Warfare 3. Uh, so how's everybody doing today? Everybody, you know, everybody ready for the weekend? You enjoying yourselves? I gotta, uh, you know, I'm spending my day right now, you know, just enjoying it, watching, watching the league right now. And then uh, I think a little bit later on, uh, about to go see that new movie, new movie uh, Immortals. Uh, let me know if you guys are excited about that at all. I'm, I'm pretty excited about that movie. It looks like it's pretty, gonna be, you know, pretty sick. I was a huge fan of 300, so I think I'm gonna like it. Um, anyways, though, uh, we're not gonna talk all about the uh, uh, random shit that I'm doing this weekend. Um, I want to give you guys some tips on, uh, you know, your perk loadouts and all that stuff. Look at all these dots in here. It's beautiful. So look how good how good this gun is. You can just walk around and just just tear people up. Uh, man, that that gun is just a beast. It's a final submachine gun you get. It's going to be at level 74. So unfortunately, a lot of you guys are going to have to wait a while for it. But it's still pretty fun though. Anyways, though, um, I would say uh, obviously uh, kind of goes without saying that your perk loadout um, is going to depend on the way that you play. Uh, me personally. I think that the uh, I, I think that the, the best perks that work for me because I like to move around the map a lot is uh, I like to use uh, either extreme conditioning. Watch me sidestep that panic knife. <laughs> it's uh, extreme conditioning or um, scavenger sleight of hand. They they all sort of work for me. For a second perk, uh, I, I like to go back and forth. I mean, if I'm playing. You know, a group of people that like to toss out a lot of flashbangs, a lot of grenades, all that stuff like that. I obviously, you know, switch over to a Blast Shield Pro class. Um, and uh, if it's not that, most of the time I'm just running Hardline. Um, third perk, though. Uh, I know a lot of people have been, you know, using Steady Aim and stuff like that. If you like to move around the, the map a lot, you know, go try to clear out buildings, anything like that. Steady Aim... I mean, uh, Stalker is definitely the perk that you want to be running. It's gonna, you know, it's gonna delay uh, explosives that uh, that people leave for you, stuff like that. It's gonna be, um, you know, really detrimental to you, uh, you know, doing better with all of the great uh, equipment and stuff that they gave people in this game. Also, um, uh, Dead Silence works really well. Um, if you like to, you know, get it in like a dying soldier, the way he's always, you know, jumping around everywhere, jumping out of windows, you know, flanking behind three people at a time, taking them all out at once, all that stuff. Uh, that's all, uh, you know, that's something Dead Silence is really great for. Uh, you know, you move silently, you're, you're, uh, you can flank easily, and also once you get Dead Silence Pro, there's no falling damage. So, you know, that's a huge advantage. Um, I just got my submachine gun right here before this game. Like, I literally just put it on. This is the first game I'm using it. So, um, I see a guy from a distance, but I decided not to take him on because he had an assault rifle because I wasn't, you know, sure about the range on this gun. The the, the range on, the, on these guns is amazing. Um, so, don't ever doubt it once you get this gun. Uh, you probably want to run it with Scavenger, but it's okay to run with something else. Uh, I've had my best games running the Specialist Package with this gun. Um, I throw on a Silencer. Uh, if you guys are running Specialist, you want to run Hardline for your first perk. Because when you uh, put that on there, it only takes one kill or one, you know, whatever point to, um, to get your first perk. So me personally, I... Uh, I put on uh, sleight of hand, hard. Uh, wait, no, yeah, sleight of hand, hard line, and um, stalker for my first couple of perks. Then, as soon as I get my first perk, I make it assassin, so that way I can start moving around the map, especially with the silencer. That way I can play aggressively with that. Uh, my second perk is uh, scavenger, because with this gun, um, you know, soon after you're going to be running out of ammo. And then my third perk is quick draw, or sometimes I'll switch off between quick draw and um, and uh, blind eye. So there's some uh, you know something for you guys to think about if you want to um, you know check out this, the specialist package. Um, one of the most underrated perks in this game that is that I just realized yesterday is completely amazing thanks to uh, my boy Death Fallen. 
um, you know, good looking out on the on the new class that I started to run now. Um, you guys should definitely try out Recon Pro. For those of you who don't know what uh, Recon Pro does, um, any bullet damage uh, done to another person by you, that person shows up on the map like they were a uh, like it was a blackbird. So this is going to be huge. Uh, it definitely evens out the. Uh, you know the whole assassin perk stuff like that moving around without being seen on the map you know you just take off you know get a couple of shots on a guy or something like that even if he kills you if you get a couple of shots off on him he's painted on the map for the for the rest of your team so everybody can come find him so it's it's an awesome way to to even out assassin because i know some of you guys have been having problems with that also if you guys want um if you guys want to get Recon Pro, uh, it's it's kind of annoying. You have to, the thing you have to do is you have to paint, um, what is it? You have to paint 120 enemies with explosive damage. So I know that sounds like, you know, a lot of work. Uh, me personally, I was just running around with an XM25, just noob tubing people all the time trying to get it. But uh, it's actually, you know, there's actually a way easier way to get it. All you have to do is, uh, you know, either run scavenger or just every time, you know, when you come to life, just run towards a crowd of people or something like that. Maybe flank around the side, you know, so you don't keep dying. But, um, yeah, you just, all you have to do is, you know, throw out like a flashbang in the air. Uh, concussion grenades will also work. But the thing I like about flashbangs is if you catch people out in the open, it's way easier to mark more people as you can just toss a flashbang in the air. With concussion grenades, they have to hit, uh, you know, the ground, a wall, something before it goes off. <laughs> Flashbangs are, uh, are on a timer, so you know they're just gonna go off whenever, uh, whenever you throw them. They have a set time of when they're gonna go off, so you can just throw it up in the air and mark, you know, four or five people at once rather than you know throwing it on the ground. You have to get it, you know, perfectly in a room or something like that. With this late reaction time, I'm up. messing up. Anyways, though, so yeah, uh, Recon Pro is an awesome perk. You guys definitely should check it out. Also, um, what else has been working pretty well for me? Um, I've been trying out uh, some different proficiencies and stuff like that on the guns. I have to say, uh, if you guys are using submachine guns and stuff like that, uh, if you get on maps like this, uh, there is a lot of close quarter combat, but also there are some long lines of sight down the sides in the middle of the map. You should definitely try uh, using range for the proficiency on your submachine guns if you haven't got if you guys haven't tried it yet. It increases the uh, the effective range of your gun. So, I mean, you can turn you know a, a gun that has a normal range of uh, has a normal range of you know uh, a, a couple hundred feet to you know you know three four hundred feet. You know, it's it's a uh, it's a huge help. Especially when you catch guys with assault rifles that have, you know, they have an advantage on you. So, it's definitely something cool you guys want to check out. Oh, God. Caught me laying down trying to call on my freaking spy plane. Anyways, though. This gameplay is coming to an end. I got another one coming for you guys later today. I'm going to um, talk about some more of my favorite guns and things that have been working for me and stuff like that and why I won't be using the Osprey Gunner anymore. Um, for this uh, for this map, you uh, just a heads up, you want to try to keep them at the A flag, not at C. Um, a lot of people are loving the sniping and stuff like that in this game. There's a lots of you know high uh, perches and stuff like that for them to sit in. So you want to keep them down here at um, at a uh, at a when you have the high ground and stuff like that at C. Just a you know just a friendly heads up on that. So uh, make sure you guys try that out. Let me know if it works out for you guys. I hope it you know I hope it does help you out. All right. So got another gameplay coming for you guys a little bit later on today. And oh, here we go. <laughs> so I'm clearing this little spot out. Go to kill this guy, and of course, sniper with this pistol shooting me in the back. <laughs> That's a horrible way to end the game. But anyways, though, hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Anyway, I hope these tips do help you. Make sure you guys try them out for yourself. Don't you know? Try them before you knock them. 
And uh, yeah, man, hope you guys enjoy the gameplay, all right? I'm out. Peace.